would you visit Zurich again? Uh... We are about back and this is day three of Switzerland. We are in Zurich and it is our final day here. We are on our way to District 1, also known as Allstadt. It has museums, churches, and other historic sites for Zurich that sounded really interesting. So let's go check it out. One of the things that we noticed uh, a lot here in Europe is when you go to bridges, there's uh, padlocks on the bridge and those locks are a symbol of love. Uh, a couple usually writes their initials on them and throws away the key, which is a sign of uh, unbreakable love. We are in the old town streets now and you can tell. like. The way everything it has is. An old town vibe. Yeah, it has an old town vibe to it. There's a lot of like little places to eat and stuff. It would be really cool if we can run into a place that's halal here. They have a lot of little like restaurants and cafes on the street, uh, small shops with souvenirs. <laughs> So one of the cool things about Zurich is that there's a ton of fountains around wherever you go. And I was reading about it and they say that, um, uh, I was reading about it and they say that you can refill your water bottle from here because it's fresh water. So do we take that risk? I don't know. Let's see. If I have food poisoning in the vlog tomorrow. This is what happens when you're on vacation with your wife and she sees a clothing store. All sad and, uh, and uh, we came across a wedding, or at least it looks like a wedding. I don't know. Uh, the lady who's it looks like the bride is not wearing white, so I don't know if that's a cultural thing, but... Check. Yeah, those two got me. Or something. I think they're like... The mayor or something. No, they didn't say Oh. Saw a Swiss wedding. Wasn't that really cool? Now we're in like this square. And there's a fountain. There's a whole bunch of, I guess, tour, tours and stuff come here. But it's just so cool how it is. There's a church on one side. And I think there's like five, six different like ways of getting out of here. And you hear the... The bell. Honestly, like I, I say all these things, I try to describe it, but being here is just another experience. 
So if you guys have a chance, make sure you do come to Switzerland. So would you visit Zurich again? Uh, yeah. You would? I would. Because he was iffy about it. Yeah. About Switzerland is that even though it comes in the Schengen area, they're not part of the European Union. So their currency, so their currency is the franc. When uh, when we got here, I didn't realize that, and I had euros with me. So it's it's a bit of a struggle if you're not in a tourist area to do currency exchange, but. Uh, the good thing is they accept uh, credit cards almost everywhere. So I've just been pretty much using my credit card But just something to keep in mind and now Enjoy the view. We are at a pier and it looks Friggin awesome What's up guys, so we just got done with our walking around and looking at district 1 we are now at a place that's very famous here in Zurich and they have like a whole ceiling that's made of umbrellas. Um, there's a very famous restaurant here too called Gerald Tucci. Once again guys, if I'm butchering that I'm really sorry. Yeah, so this is gonna be our final stop today. We're gonna get something to eat. Check this place out. It looks really cool from the outside. Um, and tomorrow we're heading to Rome. So for now, let's check out the umbrella ceiling. So that wasn't the, that wasn't the place. Man, when you have slow internet, it takes you to the wrong places. So we're gonna walk a little bit more and see. here it is all umbrellas so this is another thing that if you are in Zurich you have to check out as you can see there's a whole bunch of people coming here just to take pictures um, you know what I would recommend coming at this time it's uh, 5 30 before the restaurant opens I think that would be a good idea when there's no one here the restaurant opens at 6 30 and then so there's food and stuff here and it's gonna get really busy at that time. Yeah, and it would be awkward with like people eating food and you're like... <laughs> <laughs> so if you're planning to post and all that, I would recommend you coming before 6.30 which is when this restaurant opens up. Um, and it's kind of like a, like a weird street like in the middle of nowhere. It's off the main road but this, this street is not like it's weird but there is a sign for Gerald Chuchi right here and right here I think that's pretty much it for today we have an early morning flight tomorrow so we're just gonna go find some place to eat and then head back to the hotel Zurich is done Rome starts tomorrow another adventure begins I can't wait for that I'll see you guys in the next vlog make sure <laughs> If you guys are enjoying these vlogs, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next vlog.